Guys, we have another mind-blowing announcement in the world of AI. Now, I'll let you guys in on a little secret here. I've known about this for a little bit now, before OpenAI's Sora even released. The CEO of Stability AI actually reached out to me and gave me a little sneak peek at what we're going to take a look at today. Oh, hello, Oscar. Yeah, my dog will be joining us for today's video. Today, Stability AI released Stable Diffusion 3. Easily, guys, easily, this is the most capable AI image generator we have ever seen to date. And the testing we'll see today, it absolutely trumps Dolly 3 and prompt understanding, which is just absolutely nuts because Dolly 3 was such a leap forward in comparison to anything we had seen before. And of course, it gets even better because Stable Diffusion 3 is going to be released as open source. I know, right? It's a big deal. Announcing Stable Diffusion 3, our most capable text-to-image model that utilizes a diffusion transformer architecture for greatly improved performance in multi-subject prompts, image quality, and spelling abilities. And I mean, when we say better performance, improved performance, they aren't joking. So they say that there is a wait list to get access to this thing, which you can join here, but eventually it is going to be open source just like all the other Stable Diffusion models. I'm not sure today, but we're going to see if I indeed have access. Here's the first image we see, epic anime artwork of a wizard atop a mountain at night casting a cosmic spell into the dark sky that says Stable Diffusion 3, made out of colorful energy, and I mean, it follows the prompt to a T, but the spelling is on point, and it's beautifully integrated as well into that anime art style. We've got the wizard, I mean, this is just scratching the surface of what it's actually capable of. Here we have another example. This is a cinematic photo of a red apple on a table, in a classroom, on the blackboard are the words go big or go home written in chalk. I mean, follows the prompt to a T yet again. The only thing that I can see wrong with this image maybe is the stem's a little bit weird on the apple, but other than that, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculously good. Perfect spelling, and it just gets even more insane from here out. A painting of an astronaut riding a pig wearing a tutu holding a pink umbrella. On the ground next to the pig is a robin bird wearing a top hat, and in the corner are the words stable diffusion. Yeah, they didn't add that in post. That's just generated by the AI, so it's just absolutely absolutely insane the level of prompt detail that we're getting here. Not only are we getting the painting, the pigs wearing the tutus, astronauts on top holding the pink umbrella, Robin Bird wearing the top hat, and even correct spelling. I mean, all in the same photo. Just so you guys get an idea of how capable this model really is, let's just try this in Dolly 3 real quick. So here, guys, we can see Dolly 3 inside of Microsoft Bing Image Creator. These images might be pretty decent, but they do not possess the same level of coherency that we see with Stable Diffusion 3. In this example, you know, we do have a pink umbrella, but it's also attached to the astronaut in a weird way. The pig is wearing the tutu, but the robin does not have a top hat. Where's the word stable diffusion? Nowhere to be found. We have something close to stable diffusion up in the top corner over here, but it also says South Asian for some reason. Again, the pink umbrella is attached to the astronaut in a weird way. The astronaut's not really holding it. We do have a robin with a top hat though. So close, but not exactly at this level of quality. Again, this one comes pretty close, very similar. A lot of the elements here, but the astronaut's not holding the umbrella, and it doesn't say stable diffusion. So again, Dolly 3 is very good, but it appears stable diffusion 3 is just better. Plus, it's going to release open source, meaning people can build off of it. This is going to be a massive, possibly the biggest leap in image generation we have ever seen. Just to show off some of the realism, we have a studio photograph close-up of a chameleon over a black background. And I mean, taking a look at these close-up details, this thing is just no slouch. Absolutely competitive. So this uses a new type of diffusion transformer that is similar to Sora's architecture, according to Emad, who is the CEO of Stability AI. So this takes advantage of transformer improvements and can not only scale further as the models get bigger, but can accept multimodal inputs. So we could do sound to image or something like like that potentially that is crazy here we've got some even more amazing examples photo of a 90s desktop computer on a work desk on the computer screen it says welcome on the wall in the background we see beautiful graffiti with a text sd3 very large on the wall just perfect coherency it's just absolutely ridiculous how far these image generators have come and how good they can get at adhering to prompts. Take a look at this lovely one. Resting on the kitchen table is an embroidered cloth with the text good night and an embroidered baby tiger. Next to the cloth there is a lit candle. The lighting is dim and dramatic. I mean absolute 
perfect coherence to this prompt. And it just gets even more impressive. Check this one out, guys. Three transparent glass bottles on a wooden table. The one on the left has red liquid and is labeled number one. The one in the middle has blue liquid and is labeled number two. The one on the right has green liquid and is labeled number three. And we absolutely get that, and it's pretty realistic. Definitely on a wooden table. And it understands left, right, and center. It's a lot going on here that it has to get correct. Dolly 3 admittedly can do this as well, unlike the last prompt that we saw. So they're at least on the same level in terms of prompt coherency for this specific prompt. Midjourney V6 is another story though. For the most part, it's really quite good, producing these beautiful realistic results, especially like this one down in the corner below. However, you can see one of our images here just isn't quite right. We have 233. While there's a larger focus on aesthetics here, Stable Diffusion 3 is going to be open source, and that means that we can build models that are a little bit more aesthetic. It can be worked on it can be built off of that's what open source is and that's why it's so darn powerful the shelf life of these open source models is extremely large there's people today that are still using sdxl this is going to be such a game changer this is really the one that made me hang my mouth open and just go oh my god photo of a red sphere on top of a blue cube behind them is a green triangle on the right is the dog and on the left is the cat perfect response here this is incredibly hard for any ai image generator to get correct. This is pretty much solid proof that Stable Diffusion 3 has better prompt understanding and coherency than any other image generator on the market that we've ever seen. Just to show you guys, this is Dolly 3 and it's not even close. It is able to do the red sphere on the blue cube. The green triangle is kind of behind them, but it's a little bit messy and weird. No cats anywhere to be seen in this image. Again, similar thing going on, but we have two triangles instead and we only see dogs. Same thing going here. We have a random spaceship as well. This one is probably the closest we get. I mean, we have a cat down here, but again, both dogs, just not exactly perfect. This is not even close to being the same level of adherence that we see in this image right here. It's just absolutely bonkers. Nate in the comments here points out another image from Dolly 3 and then one from SDXL just showing how much of a jump this is. Oh, and by the way, guys, here is Midjourney for those of you wondering. I mean, it's not even close, not even slightly. Not able to have that same level of adherence to prompt. Sure, Midjourney has very realistic and aesthetically pleasing images, but again, open source stable diffusion 3 you can take this model because it's open source and make it one that is aesthetically pleasing you can make it into one that produces more realistic images you can fine-tune them you can train them take a look at some more examples here again from the ceo of stability ai first up we have welcome to the future it's a pretty surreal image to see generated we've got like some meat salami crab things dance like no one's watching i mean i would barely be able to tell that it's generated by ai it is in a super low resolution Solution, however, and a nice image of a fighter jet. Again, just more ridiculousness. We have three clowns sitting for dinner. It says stable diffusion in the background. You get the idea. This thing is just a powerhouse. It is unlike anything we've seen before. Absolutely better at prompt coherency than Dolly 3. The images really just keep coming. So if you want to see even more examples, this will all be linked down below. It really is just so damn cool. So like I said, guys, I did get a sneak peek at this prior, so I knew it was coming. Trust Trust me, this one was not easy to keep from you guys. So taking a deeper dive into their announcement, we note that the model is not yet broadly available today, and I did check I don't have any specific access yet, but I might get access before you guys, so I'll try to get access as soon as possible and do a full testing video for you. But yeah, there is a waitlist for an early preview. As with previous models, it's crucial for gathering insights to improve its performance and safety ahead of a full open source release. So the models currently range from 800 million to 8 billion parameters, and this approach aligns with the core values of Stability AI, which is the democratization of AI access that provides users with a variety of options for scalability and quality to best meet their creative needs. The democratization of creativity. They want this thing to be able to run on people's computers at home for entirely free, and I really, really respect that outlook and their attempts to do that, because you can tell the goal here is not to get rich and make a ton of money. They have a value you here and that is the democratization of quality AI access. So again we have that diffusion transformer architecture combined with flow matching. There will be a detailed technical report
report published soon. Some more examples down here. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. Kind of a short little statement and release, but there is a lot more coming in the future, I can promise you that. Guys, this really is a significant game changer. Unequivocally, guys, we can say this AI image generator is the best one we've ever seen in terms of prompt understanding and text generation. It is leagues above the rest, and it's truly mind-blowing. As I mentioned earlier, we might get, you know, more realistic details out of Midjourney. But guess what? Midjourney is not open source. You have to pay for Midjourney. This will be free when it releases open. People will be able to use this commercially and build upon it, meaning you will be able to have a super hyper realistic models that can also produce text and do insane prompt coherency. This is a new level of architecture. This is something we haven't seen before. Get excited because the future is going to be awesome. And I think that 2024 is going to be the year of stable diffusion three. I don't know if anything's going to be able to top that in terms of image generation this year, point blank period. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. As it's been before, it's going to be a real wild ride with AI. So stay tuned. Goodbye.